this monastery was created over 250 years, I think. So I think 20 years to restore it is a good time frame. Um, it's, this, it's the issue of layers. You know, there's so many layers of history in the place that one needs to look at, and particularly the future. So what does a monastery like this mean to people in the future looking forward, and how do you revive it? Right, give it life, not just to make it a nice building again that dies again a second time. You know, you need to invest in its future and its life. So that is the biggest challenge. What will be the purpose of the place in the future? This is the question. You know, I mean, we had an exhibition that was planned of Renaissance uh, works, but the monastery was not ready enough advanced for such a, a rare, you know, precious exhibition. And then this exhibition of the oceans came up and it was a fantastic opportunity to work with the museum in Dubrovnik. So that we were really happy about that. In the future, I mean, we have been using it as a think tank, as Marcus explained, and a place where we could really explore the methodology that we like to, to implement in our cultural program. And we brought a lot of very interesting and different people together from different countries. Um, and to talk about our practice, because in the art world we are under so much pressure time-wise to deliver so many projects that, you know, sometimes you have to pull back and find a, a space where you can think and be creative. So this was really the future of what I think the monastery should be, a place where people come to investigate, to think about what they want to do, whether it's in the cultural field or in the health field or environmental field because we really wanted to start this program with an environmental message and that's so important that people already start to feel that there's a place that they can go to where there's a receptive ear to anybody wanting to do environmental projects because there are a lot of people in Croatia who understand the problems and who are aware of it and because of your close proximity to the ocean it, it's very much everybody's business how healthy our beaches and the, uh, the, the area is here. And I think being able to, t to talk about this topic is hopefully going to bring a lot of people together and to raise more voices. Of course, I'm going to bring it up with the Minister of Culture again and, you know, to, to see how a place like this can really have a future purpose, you know, that actually serves the community as well. This is about building bridges. Mm -hmm. Culture is something that you use to build bridges and of course there's a lot of suspicion and what's going to happen here and I think the programming is something that still needs to be developed depending on what the needs and wants are. We've been talking about maybe a film festival next year, would be great. I would welcome anybody from the community or from Dubrovnik to do concerts here, to use it as a place of retreat. You know, companies could come here and, and rent the place and take top management and spend a week here or a weekend, you know, in visit, visiting their program and their strategy for the next coming year. I think that's the main issue. It's like, I think everybody needs to stop, pause for a moment and think about what they want to do next. And that's, that's the kind of message that I have for local.